GA is one of the underground's most respected gospel rap artists that emerged into holy hip hop arena back in 2000. His music was quickly accepted by the underground circuit and the fans that orbit the hip hop community. With hits like Sometimer, Sin, and Put That In Your Spirit, and a hot collection of spirit-filled music. After his hit album, From the Cross, that was met with great praise, G.A. took a hiatus. In 2014, G.A. has resurfaced with a hot new spirit-filled album, Holy Ghost of Rest. We recently met up with the promising gospel hip-hop star to see where he has been and what he has in store for Holy Hip Hop. Uh, yeah, what's happening, little man? What's going on? What's up? Uh, and excuse me, uh, uh, how, how do you separate the real, uh, and excuse me, sir, from the fake? Oh, well, well, check it out, little man. You got to put the real thing next to the fake. Um, I've been on hiatus for a while, and uh, you can kind of get content, and the enemy is kind of slick in the way that he moves. The scripture says, lest Satan should get advantage of us, we are not ignorant to his devices. So one of his devices that he uses is to try to get you to, to, to lose focus of your purpose. And what was going on with me while I was on my hiatus and while I was away for such a long time is I, I liken it to this little story that my kids was watching a movie one day, it was Percy Jackson. And they had went, it was a scene where they went into a club. It was like a Vegas club. And when they went into the Vegas club, they they were met by greeters and these greeters had these lotus flowers and they were like cookies or uh, some kind of cake and they would eat it and this lotus flower would cause them to lose focus on what their purpose really was or lose track of time. And so life issues and familiar spirits that the enemy uses can cause you to lose focus and forget your purpose and lose track of time. You know, so that's kind of like what I was dealing with. But it's a scripture that talks about that. It says, if our gospel be hid, it is hidden to them who are lost and whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not unless the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of God, should shine unto them. So you got to understand that the devil is a God and he can blind the thought process and the mind of an individual. But as long as you stay in the gospel, for Paul said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, but it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So I just had to go back to my first love and get into my word. And by doing that, I'm back on focus, back on my purpose and walking into my destiny. Um, I'm a little disturbed right now because I see that it has become a little difficult for new artists um, and upcoming artists, gospel rap artists and holy hip hop artists to make it into mainstream. Uh, you know, I would think that uh, because I'm saved and you're saved, that since we're both saved and if you have something uh, that I may not have access to that you would open the door and let me have access to it, you know, because we're both saved. But in this day and time, it seems as if you need to have extra added information or knowledge. Like there are some secrets going on, you know, and I liken it back to the cross because when Jesus was on the cross, um, God said that it was finished. It was done. That's all we needed was the death, burial and resurrection. You know, so there's sex and cliques in this day and time, and sex is S-E-C-T, and these are groups of people that act as if you need to have this hidden knowledge to gain uh, access to what you need to have access to, such as studios, uh, circuits to do your music, concerts, and, and uh, special events. Um, it's interesting because there's no such thing as a generational curse. You know, but yet we have people trying to write books and give you information on generational curses, and that's adding to the gospel. And Paul said, if any other gospel be preached, then let it be a curse. 
So these things that people are trying to do and speak in this day and time are bringing us back up under a curse, you know? And so these groups, and I go back to the groups and, and, and the holy hip hop community is making it difficult for, for us to be able to exercise our gifts. You know, Paul dealt with it. He had the Gnostics and they believe not only in the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, but they believe that you needed to have extra added knowledge or information to gain access into heaven. And that's not, that's not the gospel. So that's what's disturbing me in this day and time is that, you know, people don't have access, you know, to certain liberties. And the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm looking for that liberty. <laughs>
Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, it sounds good. All right, so uh, when, when is the album going to be dropping? Real soon. We going to surprise you. Okay. We going to surprise you. We looking out for that new GA? Yeah. Uh, Jesus' name.